We're delighted to welcome Colorado Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, such a warm welcome. I, I really thank Rock Productions and everybody joining us today. Uh, I'm Jenna Griswold, Colorado Secretary of State, and we won a huge election in 2018. Uh, we worked hard, we flipped a seat against a very popular incumbent for the first time in 60 years since Eisenhower was president. Uh, and I became the first Democratic woman ever to serve in this position, the youngest Secretary of State in the nation, which I continue to be, and just the 10th woman to hold and be elected to statewide constitutional office. But more importantly, as soon as I got into office, I started to work to pass the largest democracy reform in the nation. So I worked with our legislature and we were able to add more drop boxes, more polling centers. We passed automatic voter registration, parolee reenfranchisement, worked with the tribes to undo historical voter suppression. Uh, and you guys know me, I'm not afraid of special interests. I took them head on through campaign finance reform, uh, shining light on dark money, banning foreign money. We passed lobbyist reform. Uh, that was in the first couple of months of my tenure as Secretary of State. And I thought that was gonna be my legacy. But we all know what happened. A week after having our first presidential primary in 20 years, because we were a caucus state before 2020, uh, I closed down the office. And we started to see elections across the nation really struggle. So Wisconsin had the first presidential primary during shutdown and in Milwaukee alone, 180 voting locations were reduced just down to five because election workers were afraid to show up. And then we saw Georgia and in Atlanta, black voters waited in seven hour long lines to cast a ballot. Uh, and it was also raining on top of that. So we started to see these warning signs across the nation. And not only did I win uh, this, re this election for the first time in 60 years, I became the only Democratic Secretary of State in the nation from a vote by mail for all state. Uh, so I instructed the office we were going to do two things, open up access as quickly as possible in the state of Colorado and help any state that wanted our help in the expansion of vote by mail. Uh, so overnight, I became the Oprah of drop boxes. I was, you get a drop box, you get a drop box, you get a drop box. We increased drop boxes by 55%. We added more voting centers. I set up statewide ballot tracking to shine light on, on the, the lies coming from the White House on our election model. We rolled out new technology, text to cure. We doubled down on our outreach to Coloradans experiencing homelessness, our partnership with the tribes. All, by the way, suing President Trump and stopping him from using the Postal Service to suppress Colorado and American voters. Two lawsuits, two successes to stop them. Uh, and meanwhile, we were working with states like New Jersey and Pennsylvania, uh, states from across this nation, helping them think through how to expand vote by mail. Uh, and our success, it, it speaks for itself. Here in Colorado, we had more people cast a ballot in the middle of a pandemic than ever before in our state's history. For our work with the tribes, we saw an approximate 20% increase in tribal voting in just two years. Over 56% of Colorado voters tracked their ballot so they could see themselves that uh, the ballot was sent and when it was processed. Over 11,000 people fixed their signature discrepancies, making sure their vote counted with our new technology, Text to Cure. And for the rest of the nation, I, I do believe we helped save American democracy. We expanded access to vote by mail in the middle of a pandemic to over 84% of American voters so that they could have their voices heard and choose the president of the United States. Uh, we had a great success in 2020, and that was followed by the worst attack on American democracy in recent time. Since 2021, we have seen over 30 bills to suppress the vote pass across the nation, 120 bills to subvert the vote. We've seen an uptick in vitriol uh, in Chafee County, just south of you guys. The county clerk works behind uh, bulletproof glass. We're seeing death threats to secretaries of state, those of us brave enough to push back on the lies, stop the voter suppression. Uh, and we're seeing uh, 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 fake audits, insider threats, the worst attack since reconstruction.
And what I can say to you is I am there to do everything I can to protect our elections. I was the first secretary of state in the nation to prohibit fake third party audits. We already do the best bipartisan audits in the nation. So we shouldn't uh, play this political theater. I took care of the first insider threat against when Tina Peters decided to compromise voting equipment. I decertified the equipment and asked my 2018 Republican opponent to oversee that election. Uh, and most recently, I've had to take action against a third count. Uh, and I'll tell you guys, we won this seat for the first time in 60 years because it's a difficult race. And now there's four Republicans running against me, including Tina Peters, the woman who compromised her, her voting system to prove the big lie, who's under criminal investigation, who was arrested last week and tried to kick a cop, who clapped on stage with a known militia group. Uh, as they called for me to be hung, and who made her announcement on Monday that she was going to run against me on Steve Bannon's show. This is going to be a hard race. She's going to be able to raise a lot of money, but we have to win. The stakes are so high. She is unfit to be Secretary of State and a danger to democracy. So please, if you are able to donate, please consider donating five, five hundred, up to one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars to make sure Colorado's elections remain free and fair. I'll continue to do my job to make sure that every eligible voter, Republican, Democrat and independent alike, has access to safe and secure elections. And I'm planning on working hard with you guys to win this seat for the second time in a very, very long time. So a big thanks to everyone. Uh, you guys have been so great. Thank you to Rock's production. Uh, and I just look forward to working hard over the next year and winning this seat again. Hi there. How's everybody doing? I'm Percy. I mean, that's what they call me because of my superpower. Want to know what my superpower is? Shh, don't tell anybody. It's persistence. Yes, persistence is a superpower. I'm proud to use that power on the Defenders of Democracy team because it takes persistence to have a free and fair democracy, to stay active and engaged, to be a part of it all, to defend our democracy. Now, let me tell you about another Defender of Democracy, Jenna Griswold. She has some of the same superpowers as me. She persisted, even against that guy who used to sit in the White House trying to poison people about the safety of mail-in ballots, the fairness of elections that include everyone, and the legitimacy of our elections themselves. She showed persistence, like me, Percy, the superhero of persistence. Okay, enough about me for a minute. How about you? Want to be a superhero too? You can be a defender of democracy right now. Start by aiming your phone like you were going to take a selfie for your Instagram page. But instead, keep the camera pointed at me and that funny looking QR code there. Focus on that code and a link will pop up. Tap the link and you can chip in to help Jenna Griswold to persist at defending our democracy. Or you could also just snap a picture of the screen so you'll have the web address to type into your browser. We hope you'll join the Defenders of Democracy today and persist at what we all worked so hard to achieve in the last few years and what could so easily slip away if we don't remain persistent. So join us, give what you can, sign up, and be a Defender of Democracy.